Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we learned about View Child Decorator. What is View Child? View Child Decorator is mostly used whenever you want to manipulate or get any child component or element which is in your component, right? So that, that way you can manipulate, update the DOM elements and much, much more. If you haven't checked it out, please do check it out. That was the previous episode. In today's episode, we are going to learn about view children. It's the logical next step towards view child, which is you would get a list of components or elements as an array. View child is basically used to get one element at a time. But using view children, we can get multiple elements of the same element or component. We'll learn all about it and different use cases today. Let's get started. This is part 83 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. Make sure you check it out. I have planned more than 100 tutorials. We are already at 83. Please do reach out to me if you have any doubts or queries. Please do subscribe to my channel. If you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Thank you in advance. Following is the playlist. Um, I will not go into details, but I've covered everything from ground zero introduction to most advanced use cases that will that you need to in order to master Angular. Today we are on episode number 83, where we are learning about view children. So what is view children? View children is one of those most used decorators, especially when you're manipulating elements in a particular component. It's very similar to view child. But the only difference is that here we will inject a reference to a query list of component or DOM elements. So in simple words, think of it this way. View child will get you one element. View children, you can get multiple list. Basically, you, you'll get a list of component or DOM elements. Just like view children, view child, view children gets loaded after ng after view in it. I showed you last time also in the in the last episode why you should not use it on ng on in it. Today you are seeing on about view children why you will not use it for with ng on in it. We'll do some hands-on examples right now. Again, I'll encourage you to keep dropping your comments or questions in the comment section. I'll try and answer as much as I can. Thank you. Let's get started. Alrighty, so. This is the example we saw in the last episode where we learned about view child, which is we have one element or one component, any component. It need not to be this component. It can be any component of your choice. Here we have only single element. Now what we can do is we can get a query list. So let's say I want to use this particular component again. So let's say app content projection. I'm using it again. See. So what this means is that this component is referenced two times in this particular app component, right? So uh, content projection component is used two times in app component, right? So let's upgrade our code now. This is the code we wrote for view child to get the single component, right? So how will you write it if you want to use it with view children and get multiple instances of it? Okay, so it would be very similar. We'll use the directive view children, right? That is the thing that we'll use and what and what is the name of the component that we want to use? Content projection component. Now here again, you will give say content projection list. This is just a name. You can give any name to this one. And what is the type? This is very important. Listen now here, since you have only one element or one component you just wrote directly the name of the component but with view children you will write query list that means query in the component and find all the things that are matching content projection component so i will comment this off right now here okay so look at the code it says con view children of content projection and then you have the variable name that we want to capture it's a list query list 
If you take the mouse over query list, it says list of items that Angular keeps up to date when the state of the application changes, right? And the type of object that can contain is the query list, right? That means it will find everything which is matching to content projection component. If you see our HTML, we have two components. No, I mean two instances of the same component, right? We have called this component twice. Content projection, content projection. So now, next thing that we'll do is we don't need this because now it will not be referenced directly because we have multiple uh, list, right? So again, in ng after view in it, what we will do is you can, it's just an array, right? So what can you do with the array? Anything that we want. You can say get, you can say last, length, map, these, these are just the array methods that you are doing, right? So if I say dot length, how many it would give me? It will give me two. See here, this is two, okay? So now if you want only one, the first one, you want to print the first one, then how would you do that in arrays? Simply by using the index of it, right? So if you say one, it should give you the second one. And if you say the first one, you'll say zero because Array starts with, okay, uh, projection list. So just print this and you will get the query list and you get the first, last results. Okay, so alrighty, perfect. So we got the first and last element. This is the template ref because there is no uh, defined element that we have passed. That's why it's giving error. So don't worry about that. All right, so this is an array of the list of components that we got. We can do anything we want with it, okay? Or you can do something like this, dot get. Now here you can say get the first one and then is user equal to true. So instead of just the array, you will just do a dot get now because it's a query list, right? Internally it will resolve to an array, but here you're saying in this list, get the first one set its property as true right so basically that's how you will manipulate it so this was with respect to the components what happens when there are elements like this headline what do we do same thing we will just do query list and then pass the element type right so uh, that i'm giving you as an homework try this out but i'm just going to give you a rough code so you're going to say the same here you're going to say view children and it's of type headline okay and then you're going to say headline list or you can need not to give list i mean basically you can give any name you want to for that and then you're going to say it's a query list of element ref okay and then you will process this list and then dot get and process it in your ng after view in it right so go, go ahead Give it a try. I'm not going to give that exact code, but I've given you almost all the code. Okay, so let's see how smart you are to print the inner HTML or not. So you would just do here dot get dot. Okay, and here you're going to say line list, right? And then you would get the inner HTML. So give it a try. Let me know how it works. And if need be, please do check out the code I wrote. But you will learn only by practicing. Okay. So that was about view children. Give it a try. Let me know if you have any doubts. In the next episode, we are going to start the most uh, requested tutorial series, which is on Angular testing. I'm going to build a lot of use cases on Angular testing. A lot of details I'll cover about components, services, directives, custom directives, pipes. Um, writing common module and then using it in our testing, injecting services, mocking test data and much, much more. Uh, this is something that you don't want to uh, miss. And I'm sure if you have any request, please do let me know. I'll be more than happy to accommodate that as well. Thank you so much for joining. If you like my work and tutorials, please do subscribe to my channel. Please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. Thank you again.